Yeah, I would like to share with you this realistic MPA 9100 watt solid state PA amplifier by the realistic. So it's an American company, realistic, and they were making a 10D corporation for the Radio Shake also and the realistic and the 10D corporation they were making the audio equipment and the radio equipment in 70s and 80s. So this is a 100 watt uh, amplifier and uh, it has uh, several inputs. Uh, you have mic 1, 2, 3, 4 and phono and auxiliary also and you have feed, feed, uh, feedback filter here. You have analog meter showing the power output and uh, you have a LED to show the clipping and uh, you have the volume and, and the memory. The, the back uh, is uh, just uh, showing that uh, where you lost uh, adjust the volume. And this is power on off, meter is backlight and you have a headphone out also. So I think it's a uh, late 70s or early 80s not too much information i mean there are plenty of sale on ebay but uh, not enough information available on the realistic website that when it was produced so the circuit design is also very interesting i would like to sh to show you inside the circuit design but uh, let's see on the back side what sort of connection it has so we are on the back of the amplifier this is the fuse and this is the speaker out so these two are also for the speaker out and uh, these are the inputs here equalizer are bypass then you have a mix bus here and auxiliary out from here you give input and then you can take output and this is uh, for the phono or the microphone uh, mic number four because you have mic four here also so uh, this is microphone one two three four and uh, you have uh, uh, XLR and uh, the audio uh, connector for the input of the microphone because microphone they come with the two sort of connection uh, the simple audio connection and uh, also the XLR connection which is here uh, for the balance and unbalanced input and this is the uh, this is the ground connection so you have to make the ground this is a rated 100 watt uh, totally and uh, the power consumption at the peak uh, is written 230 watt uh, at 220 volt and 50 hertz this was uh, uh, assembled and manufactured in Taiwan for the 10D corporation is written here so it's American brand but uh, this uh, amplifier was uh, made in Taiwan so I would like to show you inside the circuitry and then we see how it looks like. So a piece of advice, don't open any electronic or electrical equipment if you don't have any knowledge about electronics or electrical appliances, if you don't have background or education, uh, if you are not qualified technician because there, uh, there can be a risk of electrocuting so I don't advise anybody to do it but if you are qualified of course you can do that so uh, whenever you open any equipment uh, make sure that you remove from the AC uh, power source so there should be a less risk of electrocuting so let's come back to the circuit circuit is very simple you know it's the power supply here you have a uh, switch here on and off and below you have here the headphone uh, output there and this is the variable resistor for the uh, potential meter for the volume control this is the meter and this is a tone generator because it has to, to create the tone of uh, different uh, frequencies in so this is a tone generator circuit and various tones are generated from the from the input I can show you this one I was talking about so it's a feedback filter so you have off 0 0.30 0 0.41 1.5 2.5 and 3 kilohertz you can uh, just create a feedback uh, uh, sort of filter so it's uh, working like an equalizer you know feedback filter so that's uh, that, uh, that circuit does it uh, for the feedback process 
and uh, uh, these are uh, uh, here uh, variable resistor potential meter for uh, selecting and uh, uh, inputting the various inputs for example I can show you this is for the mic one and then you just uh, select the input how much you can give input two three four and phono and the auxiliary so these are uh, connected these knobs are connected with the circuit board and the, with a sliding variable uh, resistor potentiometer to control the input and uh, these are all inputs inputs are going in that circuit you can see a circuit and that circuit is shielded away from the main buffer driver and the amplifier board to avoid the feedback and that's that's a very good uh, strategy but uh, they could have shielded the hole you see uh, this part is still visible over there so they could have shielded the hole this board away from that so in order to avoid any feedback or any interference and uh, the inputs are going to this board this has a preamp and the driver stage and when it get amplified the driver stay here you have a driver amplifiers then they are going to the NEC chip 0745 so it has a two channel each channel is uh, separately amplified and is going output from there to there and if you see the the one of the speaker is here and these two are same if you see the connection inside they are just you may see it you can see they are just jumper with the each other so for example uh, these two are the right channel and this is the left channel for example uh, this is the right and these two are the left because one of them they are connected with this NEC chip and the top one is connected with this one so that's how they have distributed it's a stereo but uh, I don't know uh, why they have put uh, this uh, out output jack for the speaker they could have done like this one you know normal speaker output but uh, yeah maybe uh, their design engineers decided to do like that and uh, I like uh, this input because it gave variety of uh, uh, Microphones to plug in you know with the both kind of jacks XLR and other audio jack uh, So it's a very simple circuit design if you can see it and uh, It's a totally solid state and the the heart of the circuit amplification are this NEC 0745 chips these are the amplifiers basically and this board which is preamp and the driver stage and this can be used for any other uh, audio amplification as well not only the PA but uh, normal solid state amplification if somebody wanted to to modify it and make it a hi-fi amplifier from this circuit is possible uh, power supply is quite big it will handle uh, easily 100 watt output and uh, it can uh, be a very nice amplifier now it's time for testing I connect the microphone in the mic one and uh, it's connected with the speaker and then we see that how this amplifier performs let's take the microphone out hello hello microphone testing hello microphone testing amplifier testing one two three one two three uh, my can is uh, you can see is on the middle we can we can increase it and uh, this is the feedback also like equalizer and if we go now is three as you see it's added at three kilohertz so the the high cut is gone now it, it has a more uh, bassy sound and when it's closed uh, now is a normal audio without any feedback or the equalization so this is a microphone one at the power output of uh, it's pushing at the number six and seven between six and seven it's pushing almost one watt one to five watt and then we can switch it and put to the microphone number two Now it's connected with the microphone too. I can increase again. 
Hello, hello, volume control is still the same. Amplifier testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Amplifier testing, hello, amplifier testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, mic two input also working fine. So we do the mic three. Now it's connected to mic microphone three. Volume control at the same. We increase the input. Hello, amplifier testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello. Hello. Let's see if the clipping working. I mean, uh, it's, it's very good. Full microphone input now. And it's a pushing almost five to ten watts. Five to ten watts. So, yeah, seems a very good uh, uh, public address uh, system amplifier. Very useful. So, we put it uh, microphone number four now. So we are we are at the microphone number four input, and uh, there is a pre-select button. Uh, if you remember, I show on the back side. So microphone number four input also share with the phono amplification. So you have to put if you add the microphone to the microphone side. If you add the phono, then the phono side. So now it's in the microphone side. I turn it on, and we increase again. Hello, amplifier testing. Hello, amplifier testing. Uh, this uh, uh, this is more sensitive than other input, I would say, because input is uh, very less. It's the same microphone, but uh, it's uh, al already pushing uh, more than 10 watts. Volume control is the same. So maybe uh, uh, this is more sensitive because of the phono MME input. So yeah, so that is the that is the reason. Maybe it's more sensitive than all these three inputs. And uh, I just add on the microphone, same microphone, everything same. So, yeah, let's. Uh... So I connected my faithful Sony CD player to see the auxiliary. This Sony CDP M77 is a very excellent CD, CD player. Thanks to my friend Marco and Derek. Uh, they work in the nearby shop. And he advised me to take it. Uh, many of the radio stations, they play music, uh, especially CDs, on this CD player because it has very quick response from pause to play and from track to track. Okay, anyhow, so we are testing the realistic uh, 100 watt solid uh, state uh, public address system amplifier and it has the auxiliary in also and phono in also. So why not to to check we have checked already the microphone inputs so let's see how it sounds like
example, this is a class C amplifier. This is not a class A amplifier. This is not designed to 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 reproduce the music basically. This is for public address system. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm surprised because uh, uh, the power amplification of the audio uh, music especially is also outstanding, but it can be very loud. You see, I just uh, it's less than one, and uh, if I go more, it can be very loud. And uh, playing this amplifier on the full volume, you really need a big speakers, really 100 watt. This NEC074 chips, they are working excellent. And uh, it's uh, reproducing music also excellent. And this uh, feedback uh, filter is also the full volume if the music will be distorted uh, my speakers are not uh, rated 100 100 watt these ones it can get very loud watts output music was not distorted so excellent so this can be used as a normal amplifier solid state guys like it and until next time thank you for watching